Hello and welcome to Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades, what I can only describe as a virtual reality gun simulator because while there's some pretty sweet mini games involved with these different maps, the emphasis is really on being able to manipulate and fire weapons in a way that mimics real life. So to do that, we're going to head over to the indoor range where I have something cool set up for us. I've taken the liberty of clearing off the bench and setting up a target at 10 feet to start us off with the M9A1, and I've chosen this pistol because it's pretty popular. It is currently, I believe, still the primary issued sidearm for a few of the armed services, although that's about to change. They're trying to switch over to something new. But you can tell this is not the civilian version 92FS because it's got that rail on the bottom. But we still have a couple magazines with the 15 round capacity, and uh, let's load it up and put some lead down range. So we have to load it manually, grabbing the magazine, Sliding it in. It's a little tricky to get it in there. Rack the slide back and ready to go. We can see that it is on fire because we can see that red dot. Uh, just to show you safe looks like that. So let's go ahead and shoot it. Let's see how we can do. So it's kind of cool. It actually plays a slightly different sound and, and you can see the slide. Uh, stay locked back on that final round and if you shoot in real life you can really appreciate that because you definitely tell uh, you can feel the weight of the slide hold back and you can hear a slightly different sound in real life so it's cool to add uh, see some of those little details let's put that down and bring our target back we can see a pretty exceptional grouping though it is a little bit south of the bullseye how'd we do 15 shots 150 points so i guess those all scored us a 10 even though there are separations there in the middle who knows but uh let's clear that and send it back go ahead with another magazine so to drop this out we have to hit down on the thumb pad and load up another magazine so we can kind of rack the slide forward or let it drop forward two ways we can either pull it back and let it pop forward or hit the slide release using the left side of the thumb pad which i'm going to do so pretty awesome do it one more time. You can see I'm taking a really weird stance. That's because I don't know what to do with my left hand. Uh, normally it would be on the firearm like this, but there's no really, there's no way to really hold it with both these controllers. So I'm just taking a real weird stance. I know the grouping was a little low, so we're gonna try and compensate here. You can hear it's giving us a different sound every time we hit that bullseye bullseye. And that was a little bit better, maybe a little left, but how'd we do? Another 150, so it looks like it, there's no distinction between anything in there. Anyways, let's uh, play around a little bit. Let's go ahead and drop an attachment on it. Let's move this out to 20 feet for our next attempt. Looks like it's all clear. Let's drop that mag out. And so now it is unloaded. Let that hammer drop forward. Put the suppressor on. Probably should be unsafe, but who cares? This isn't real life, so we don't have to be as serious. <laughs> so we've got the suppressor on there now. Let's go ahead and throw this laser on as well. There we go, and to turn it on, we have to click it and press the thumb pad so we can see the laser following us around. So, load up another magazine and give it another shot. No pun intended. So you can see this is an issue with suppressors. Uh, they're supposed to work in conjunction with a firearm that's designed to take suppressors uh, and as such the sights would be raised up so that we can actually use them. You can see they're being blocked by the suppressor but this is an issue that we can kind of let go especially given that we have the, ah, the laser now! <laughs> I dropped the firearm. It's okay it's still pointed down range. Okay I'm just gonna be using the laser here so this is not gonna be really down my line of sight. Let's see if we do better or worse. How was that? Oh, 149, we missed one. Let's bring that on back. Let's see, which one is that? Probably this crazy rascal right there. Oh well, let's uh, send it back, and this time let's go out to 50 feet. I think there's enough space for that. Clear this out. Drop that, load another, let the slide forward. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put this controller in my pocket so I can put both 
on the uh, firearm controller. This is difficult. I'm not sure if I should be looking at the laser or the sights. I'm gonna look at the laser. I notice I'm still taking a really goofy stance, but I hope you'll forgive me. Okay, let's bring it on back. How we do, point value 147. A couple got away from us, but that's not bad given that we're out at 50 feet. So um, that's really all I've got to show you right now. I think we kind of covered the basics of what the game looks like and how to manipulate things and kind of how it turns out and why there's some appeal. Uh, for this last part, let's uh, spawn in a few more magazines and just shoot them off and reload as quickly as possible. So let's do five magazines. We don't need you. As quick as we can. Let's put this at 50 feet's fine. And we'll see how we do. So did I load that in? No, I did not. Okay. Here we go. Now I would like to put this controller down, but we're gonna need it to reload. Uh, let's put these on the vest. That'd be a little, a little cooler, a little more tactical. So we've got six slots, kind of like abs, I guess. <laughs> Magazine abs. And we're gonna have to be able to see them and grab them quickly to do this effectively. I'm just gonna shoot as fast as possible so this isn't, this isn't gonna be pretty. Let's expect a lot out in the one and two rings. So let's go. Oh no! What happened there? I must have uh, let the slide forward by accident. That's tricky. That's tricky, man. Oh, that's not right. Whew. Okay. So empty. Unloaded. Let's bring that on back. I felt pretty good. I uh, had some issues because down is uh, dropping the slide out, or I'm sorry, the magazine out, and left is letting the magazine forward. So let's put an empty in here to assist with locking the slide back. You know, gun safety. And this is uh, actually pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with that because they don't really trend towards any direction. It's kind of centered around the bullseye, except for those little guys. Don't worry about those little guys out there. <laughs> Just a super troopers reference. This little guy, don't worry about this little guy. Ah, sorry, a little obscure. I'm, I'm really big into the obscure references, but uh, so 685, we don't really have anything to base that off of unless you want to multiply one of these by five, which you could very easily, but I'm, I'm happy with that. You know, it's a lot of fun. And that's it, hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to try and do a video on as many different weapons as possible, trying to do little little features, try and figure out an interesting way to introduce you guys to all these different virtual weapons because that's way easier than going out and actually firing them at the range. <laughs> so thanks again so much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, but that's all I got for now and I'll see you next video.